Hi there, we're gonna talk about the capo because the capo is your best friend. Now maybe you've already figured out that when you play a song, and maybe it's a little bit too low, if you put your capo on, it makes what you play sound a little bit higher. But at some point, rather than just doing it by ear, it's useful to understand what's happening and then also be able to name the key that you uh, are in once you've put the capo on. So, if this is G position, meaning my fingers are playing in the key of G, I put the capo on the first fret, and because I know that each fret is a half step, I've taken my G sound and I've raised it a half step. So now what's coming out is G sharp or A flat. If I move the capo to the second fret and play in G position, then what's coming out is the key of A. If I put the capo on the third fret and play in G position, now what's coming out is the key of A sharp, or more correctly, we would call that B flat. So if somebody says to you, hey, what key are you in? You don't have to say, um, I don't really know because I have my capo on. You can instead say, B flat. Bam!